Hi. Uh, I'm halfway through a book called Will War Ever End? Uh, by Captain Paul K. Chappell, or Chappell, I'm not sure how to say it. But uh, I picked it up, I saw it on one of my alternative uh, newspaper things, and, it, and uh, they said it was an inspiration book, and I'm liking most of it. I'm, I'm, I'm most of the way through it, I said about halfway through, and it's a little book, it's not that big. But uh, he's talking about if we're, war is going to end, we're going to have to get to this thing called unconditional love. And this is coming from a captain in military. While reading the book, I, ha I started thinking about uh, a few years ago, I guess ten years ago now, when those two airplanes drove into the two buildings in uh, New York. Remember that? Right? And I had landed that morning in Gatwick Airport. And... So then I couldn't get a hold of my family right after that happened. All the communications were shut down. It was kind of scary because my whole family was in the States, and I wasn't sure what was going on. And uh, One of my clients in England, her father was a German general for the Allied Forces and a teacher. And we got talking, and I asked her, I said, can I talk to your dad? And she said, why? I said, I don't know why. I don't, it doesn't, not, things aren't making sense to me right now. And I she called him and then said, my dad's on the phone, and, and uh, a man with a very strong German accent, and I met him next to someone. She said, what are we talking about today? And I said, well, I said, a kind of I, perspective, I guess. I said, you heard what happened. I said, I'm an American. I'm visiting here, and uh, I need some perspective. I, and I had just talked to my wife. I guess it was a couple of days afterwards. I said, my wife is Swiss. She's there. She said she's upset by the bloodlust that's going on in America, and he said, that's normal. And he said, this sort of event will create that sort of patriotism and bloodlust. Uh, that's, that's what it is designed to do. And I said, okay. I said, but what's your take on it? What do you see? And he said, well, what I see is, he said, Mr. Bush stands at this time in history in a unique position with all the people he has in place. What he could do is embrace the principles of unconditional love and take the planet to peace right now. And I said, say that again. And he said, if Mr. Bush, with the people he has in place, if he embraces the principles of unconditional love, he can take the planet to peace right now. And I said, am I really talking to a German general? He said, yes, yes, I am a general in the German army. Because I was surprised that a German general would think like that of unconditional love. Uh, an old hippie, I think like that, and it surprised that guy, and it just, obviously Mr. Bush didn't heed the Unconditional Love channel, obviously Mr. Bush missed the channel by quite a mile, but I'm hearing rumblings of it from soldiers, which I think is refreshing, and it's restoring my sense of the possibility of peace. It doesn't look very likely around here, especially as the warmongering Americans are posturing and but maybe it's just the politicians who don't believe in peace. Hmm. Who would have thunk?